Hello everybody. Recently I had the need for an electronic timer and I wanted the timer to run for about three seconds upon energization. So when power was applied to the timer I wanted the timing sequence to start and at the end of the pre-selected time I wanted the relay to open. So at power on the relay closes, waits for the time delay and at the end of the selected time delay the relay would open. So I bought this very inexpensive timer. I put together these two super simple circuits which are instant on. So be sure to subscribe to my channel so you'll get notification that I post it up the videos and the schematics of these two circuits. I love these modules available on AliExpress. If you don't have an AliExpress account, you can help me out a lot by using my referral link below. If you want to get an additional discount, make sure you create yourself a Top Cash Back account. Log into your Top Cash Back account first, sign in, and then go from the Top Cash Back website to AliExpress and Top Cash Back will track your purchase at AliExpress and give you a cash rebate. But anyway, I picked this particular module for a couple of different reasons. Number one, it's very inexpensive. The price is 82 cents. That includes free shipping to the US. Now you gotta wait a couple of weeks, generally two to three weeks. The other thing I love about this particular relay is that it has a very wide input voltage range. So the operating voltage is anywhere from 5 to 30 volts, which is amazing. So it works great on a 12 volt system. It will work great if you use a, a USB power supply, so a little wall wart and a USB plug. I think this was a mini USB. Plugs into right here and it works quite well. My initial idea was I was just going to take this push button switch. This is a momentary contact switch and the way it works is when you press a switch the timing sequence starts. Uh, I originally thought I could just put a wire jumper from here to here and bypass a push button action and when the module powered up the timing sequence would start but I eventually discovered that you actually need a trigger pulse here. This trigger terminal is actually connected to this one right here. So my initial idea was not going to work. Here's my relay timer module. I've made one modification to it, namely you can see this red three pin header that I've soldered in to the trigger, the V minus and the V plus. I'm going to plug my USB power supply into it and I'll turn it on. And as you can see nothing happens when I turned it on. No lights came on. If I depress the push button here to start the timing sequence I have the potentiometer set to about three seconds. One, two, three. So it's about three seconds, give or take. I'm going to turn the power supply off. I'm going to depress the momentary switch. I'm going to hold it. And when I apply power, you'll see that immediately the relay came on. But notice the relay does not turn off while I have my finger on the push button. If I remove my finger from the push button, the three seconds has already expired. So when I release the push button, the relay is going to immediately open. Press the relay on, one, two, three, it goes off. Now, if I hold the switch and turn the power on, but I release the switch before the three seconds have expired, the timer will continue to count and then turn the relay off. So notice I removed my finger before the three seconds had expired and that allowed the timer to complete its timing cycle and turn the relay off. Timing cycle started when power was applied. So let me turn this off. I'm going to hold this switch again. Power on, release the switch. Timing cycle is running, switch turns off. So you can see here that if I were to remove the switch and just jumper it with a piece of wire, that would essentially be the same as this and the timer would never expire so therefore the relay would never open the relays closed right now it would just stay closed because the switch is depressed so shorting the switch out and or replacing it with a piece of wire was not going to accomplish what I needed to but I have come up with a modification that allows the module to self initialize or to auto start upon application of power and let me demonstrate that for you all I have here is a resistor and a capacitor. 
The plus side of the capacitor is connected to the trigger. The minus side of the capacitor is connected to the V minus in the center. And the resistor is connected to the V plus and to the V minus. And let me show you how it works. I have the power off. I'm going to connect my external circuit by just plugging it in. When I energize the power supply, and the power is applied, one, two, three. The push button still works. One, two, three. Turn the power off. Turn the power back on. One, two, three. The resistor and capacitor values that I've selected here were sort of by experiment. Uh, this particular capacitor is a 2.2 microfarads. The resistor I've used is a 10K ohm resistor. And this RC time constant has to be greater than the time constant of the power supply. And so I just experimented around with it. I can tell you that a 0.1 microfarad and even a 1 microfarad capacitor here with a 10K ohm resistor did not work. 1 microfarad did not work. 2.2 microfarad works. 10 microfarads works. But anything 1 microfarad and smaller does not appear to work. Although you could probably play around with the resistor a little bit. 10K and 2.2 microfarads work, but 10K and 10 microfarads also work. So that's how you modify this standard module to allow it to self-start or self-initialize or auto-start, whatever you want to call it, the timing sequence, without using the push button. Please use my links to Top Cash Back and to AliExpress. It helps me out quite a bit if you use my referral links, so I really appreciate it. So thanks for watching. If you found this at all helpful, how about a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.